Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if y equals y of x, it is a solution of one differential equation that is given to us as 1 plus e raised to 2x dy by dx plus 2 times 1 plus y square e raised to x equals to 0. And the question further tells us that if y of 0 is equal to 0, then we have been asked to find the value of an expression which is 6 times y dash of 0 plus y log of root 3 to the base e squared. So we have been asked to find the value of this expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 2, minus 2, minus 4, and minus 1. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. So let's figure out how to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but it also motivates me to put up a better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them. So please do subscribe. Now let's see the solution. So if I talk about the solution to solve this question, I have been given this differential equation with me. So if I see this differential equation, it says 1 plus e raised to 2x dy by dx plus 2 times 1 plus y square e raised to x equals to 0. So if I further try to solve it, I get 1 plus e raised to 2x dy by dx is equal to minus 2 times 1 plus y square e raised to x. So if I am dividing throughout by 1 plus e raised to 2x, I get dy by dx is equals to minus 2 times 1 plus y square e raised to x divided by 1 plus e raised to 2x. So once I have this, I'll take 1 by 1 plus y square on the other side. So it gives me 1 over 1 plus y square dy is minus 2 e raised to x over 1 plus e raised to 2x dx. Now once I have this, so basically what I am using the idea here is just separating the variables. So if I'm separating the variables now, if I integrate them, so integrating both the sides. So here I'm integrating with respect to dy and here I'm integrating with respect to x. So I get here 1 over 1 plus y square tan inverse y is equal to. This, if I try to solve it, I'll put e raised to 2x as I can write as e raised to x square, right? So I can substitute e raised to x as t. That gives me e raised to x dx as dt. So if I further try to solve this integral first, let's say i, it's minus integral of minus 2 e raised to x divided by 1 plus e raised to x the whole square dx. So if I'm using the idea of substitution, it becomes minus 2 integral of e raised to x dx is nothing but dt divided by 1 plus t square and 1 plus t square we know it is tan inverse of t. So here once I get tan inverse of t, I can further solve this as gives me tan inverse y is equals to minus 2 tan inverse of t plus c. Whereas t we substituted was as e raised to x. So I get from here tan inverse of e raised to x plus c. So let's see. So I get here tan inverse y minus 2 tan inverse of e raised to x plus t. So I have this solution of the differential equation. Now to find the constant c, I'll use the idea that was given to us. That said y of 0 is equal to 0. So let's use that. So y of 0 is equal to 0 means at x equals 0, I'm putting y equals 0. So if I do that, let's see what I get. So if I'm putting x as 0, y is also 0. So tan inverse of 0, which is 0, minus 2 tan inverse of e raised to 0, which is 1. That gives me pi over 4. 
plus C. So C becomes two times pi over four, or I can write that as two once and two twice. So constant becomes pi over two. So I get this solution of the differential equation in the form tan inverse y is equals to minus two tan inverse of e raised to x plus pi over. So we get this solution of the differential equation. Now, once I have this solution of the differential equation, let's see what is the question asking us to figure out. Question is asking us to figure out y dash of zero and y of log root three to the base e the whole square. So let's first write this entire solution in terms of y. So y becomes tan inverse if I'm taking there on the other side becomes tan of minus two tan inverse of e raised to x plus pi over two. So I have this expression for y. Now, once I have this expression for y, I need to find y dash at x equals to zero. So first let's find this first part. So y dash at x equals to zero. So if I differentiate this, differentiating this with respect to x, so tan of x, the derivative of that is basically sec square x. So sec square minus two tan inverse of e raised to x plus pi over two into derivative of this entire thing. So derivative of this entire thing is minus two. Derivative of tan inverse x is one over one plus x square. So one over one plus e raised to x squared into derivative of e raised to x, which is e raised to x. So I get this entire thing. So y dash becomes sec square minus two tan inverse of e raised to x plus pi over two into minus two e raised to x divided by one plus e raised to two x. So you get this entire thing as y dash. Now further, if I want to find out, I want to find y dash at x equals to zero. So let's just substitute x as zero everywhere x is present. So x I'm putting here zero, so it becomes e raised to zero. So sec square minus two tan inverse of e raised to zero plus pi over two here minus two e raised to zero one plus e raised to two into zero, which is e raised to zero. So sec square tan inverse of e raised to zero tan inverse of e raised to zero means it's one. So tan inverse of one is pi by four. So minus two pi by four plus pi over two into minus two e raised to zero is one divided by one plus e raised to zero again, which is one. So minus two divided by two, this cancels to give you minus one. So minus and sec square pi by two and this becomes pi by two. So pi by two minus pi by two zero and sec square zero is one. So you get minus one as your answer here for this part. Now, once I get minus one here for y dash of zero, so we figure out this, you get this minus one. Now let's figure out y at x equals to log root three to the base e. Whatever answer we get, we are just going to square that. So let's see. So y at x equals to log root three to the base e. So I have the function y with me, this. Now if I just substitute tan of minus two tan inverse e raised to x, which is e raised to log root three to the base e plus pi over. So I get this as tan of minus two tan inverse of. So e raised to log of f of x to the base e, we know it is just f of x. So I can write that as e raised to, sorry, log root three to the base e as just root three plus pi over. So if I further try to solve it, tan minus two, Tan inverse of root three, we know it is at 60 degrees. 60 degrees, I can write as pi over three plus pi. That gives me tan of pi over two minus two pi over three. If I solve this, I get three pi minus four pi. So tan of minus pi over six. So tan of negative angle I'm getting and tan of minus theta, we know I can just write that as minus tan theta. So minus tan of pi over six, which is 30 degrees and 30 degrees is one over root three. So I get the answer for this as minus one over root three. 
I have been asked in the question to square it. So this entire expression, if I square it, minus 1 over root 3, the whole squared, gives you 1 over 3. So you get this answer as 1 over 3 for this part. This was minus 1. This was 1 over 3. So just, just put in the expression. So you had 6 times y dash of 0 plus y of log root 3 to the base e squared. So I get 6 times minus 1 plus this entire thing with the square was 1 over 3. So that makes it 6 times minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 2 over 3. And this gives you minus 12 over 3, which comes out to become minus 4. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, the option is C. So C becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So what we did was we first just separated the variables y on one side, x on one side. Then we just integrated them. Once I integrated, I got the solution of a differential equation. Then I just found the constant c. And once I got that, I converted my entire question in terms of y. And then we found out what we were requiring for. So we wanted to find y dash of 0 and y of log root 3 to the base e. So whole squared. So we found them separately. And once we got that, we put that in the expression. That gave me the answer as minus 4, which matches with option C. So this was the type of question on differential equations. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also. If you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.